Yo, what's up everybody? This is Paul with Paul on the Run. If you're new to my channel, we talk about motorcycle stuff and basically anything related to two wheels and sometimes maybe stuff with more wheels than that. Now, this is just a real quick, small little video that I am doing for a subscriber that asked me how I have my tour pack as well as the passenger backrest mounted on the wall. And I'm just gonna show you and then I'll put a little parts list of what you need at Home Depot, Lowe's, or wherever your local hardware. And that way you can kind of get that up on your wall too, all right? So stay tuned and let me show you what I got. <laughs> Went ahead and took the tour pack down so you can see what I'm working with. And as far as the materials this goes, it's super simple, super basic. You can get this at you know Lowe's, Home Depot, your local hardware store, whatever. But you're gonna start off with three of these threaded rods, and they measure 24 inches by 3 eighths. You're gonna need six nuts that fit that thread. You're gonna need six of these eyelet lag bolts and then about six feet of that vinyl tubing. Now the vinyl tubing is meant to cushion between the thread and the finish on your passenger backrest or the tour pack rack that it mounts to and it just slides right on, okay? Now once you got all those materials, you're going to put your eyelet lags on the center, on the center studs. So on my particular wall, they're 16 inches. So they're 16 inches on center. And then the space between each one of these is six inches, okay? Now this was on a 2012 Harley Davidson uh, road glide. So now it fits a 2019 Harley Davidson road glide. So it's the same measurement. You don't have to worry about any of that. All right, so super simple, super easy. You know, again, I apologize, this isn't an install video, but you really can't get it wrong as long as you put your uh, lags on the studs and then you measure the six inches between each one of these, okay? Now, I know Harley-Davidson does sell a, a rack that is meant for that, but, this, but going this way is a lot cheaper, you know? Um, and it's pretty profile. It's closer to the wall. The other one it sticks out like this because it mounts on top And then you can hang some stuff underneath it, which is actually I think it's excellent You know, it's a great idea, but I went with this wrap and it's worked for me all these years So again, I just kind of wanted to bring that to you real quick real short video I appreciate you guys watching if you are new to my channel consider subscribing because I do talk about motorcycle stuff from installs to rides to whatever you know and this is one of those things that uh, we just talk about on this channel people might ask questions I've been riding for a little bit so it kind of helps if you're new into riding to ask somebody that knows about these kind of different things particularly one to help you save money but also maybe to help you make the right decision and not spend the money that you don't need to be spending unnecessarily right so until next time deuces